Hi and welcome back. I thought I would share the secret of Soft Focus Demi Matte Shine and Sweat Free Summer Skin. And everybody said, it's gonna have to have Beauty Pie One Powder Wonder in it, and it has. Because I, I'm a child of the 80s and 90s, so I don't get shiny, sweaty, heavily highlighted skin. However, I don't think that my face looks dull and flat and matte. In, in real life or on camera because I obviously put my highlighter carefully like the high points of my face and you know and I do light reflective pigments around my eyes but the secret and I actually shared this with Gabby Roslin the other day Gabby Roslin is a couple of years younger than me she has oilier skin than me she has skin very similar to Trini Woodall um, and she said to me I'm I'm just shining so much and I don't know what to do and I recommended this to her um, which I used this morning so you can see it. It's the Makeup Forever <laughs> Ultra HD Loose Powder. And I said to her, you, what you want is you want to team whatever foundation you use, and I think I recommended uh, It Cosmetic CC Cream, with one of the new generation ultra high definition triple milled super fine powders. And they are so light that and you know that this is my press one. So this is Beauty Pie One Powder Wonder. These are so light, and I don't mean just in terms of the fact that they are truly translucent when they're on your skin. So they, they look white, but they are actually colorless. Um, that my dentist, who I'm going to film with, Uchenna, can use them. Um, and Uchenna, you will remember from uh, 10 Years Younger. In fact, she's filming the new series of 10 Years Younger. Um, and uh, I think her parents are Nigerian. Uh, and uh, she's a beautiful woman and she said to me what do you film in why does your skin look like that on camera and I told her about this she didn't believe me she uses it she loves it anyway so that's two people similar age to me Uchenna's younger than me um, Gabby's my age who've used it and loved it it does not sit in your pores all your fine lines are really good new generation ultra HD translucent press or loose powder will mattify the center of your face, blow it out of focus, soften imperfection. So I go right up under my eyes and people never believe me when I tell them that. I go right up under my eyes and I go down my center panel and then I leave my cheeks and my forehead clear. I don't suffer from shiny skin. However, I what I want to do is I want to knock back my imperfections. I want to make this under here completely matte. And it has to be completely matte because it's imperfect that way and it has fine lines. I want to knock this back completely matte and my chin completely matte and probably just an area here completely matte because I want the uneven imperfections, pores and fine lines and veins to be knocked back so that the, the, the rest of it can shine forward, the eyes can shine forward, the lips can shine forward. It's, it's, it's basically TV makeup but with modern technology so that so that powders are so much better than they used to be. There are makeup artists that, that have young, beautiful, gorgeous skin that can shine from space with highlighters. That's not 99% of the population. 99% of the population need to knock back their perceived imperfections. These are the products to do it with at all prices. Okay, Beauty Pie One Powder Wonder, without a doubt, the best on the go pressed and it's even better than the Makeup Forever one. It's just absolutely wonderful, genius product. You could technically just buy this and get away with this. You wouldn't need a loose one. However, I like a loose one to set my makeup and then use this one on the go. And my favorite brushes are uh, the Real Techniques Powder Blur one, which I'm not sure if it's still available. That is a Real Techniques B01. However, the modern equivalent is the Real Techniques 400. Super soft, super fluffy. They work well for bronzers and for blending blushes as well. I wouldn't apply my blush with that because it's slightly too large. Or there's also um, Heavenly Luxe, which is It Cosmetics. All three of them, I use all three of them. That's my press one on the go. However, I do like a loose one to actually set my makeup. Technically called baking in the industry. Uh, and without a doubt, my favorite one is Makeup Forever. Um, and it's the Ultra HD Loose Powder. And it's essentially 
like that. Sir John told me you could tell a decent powder because when you blow it, it goes up into the air. I think all powders do that when you blow them. Uh, no pun on the word blow around Sir John, obviously. Oh my God, he's so gorgeous. Anyway, Makeup Forever Ultra HD. It's genius. It's the one I recommended to Gabby Roslin, who said to me, oh, I've got pores and I've got lines and I'm a certain age and I want to be ready for TV and I want to blow back my imperfections and I don't know what to use. She loves it. It's absolutely brilliant. They do a pressed one, which looks like that. This is the Ultra HD press powder. Not as good as Beauty Pie. And I don't know why. It leaves more of a white cast. Beauty Pie is better. Those two truly are utterly and completely translucent. However, other people do them. The first one I ever tried was Amazing Cosmetics. You can see, there you go. I nearly got all the way to the bottom. Uh, again, I like it. It's a nice product. It's called uh, Amazing Cosmetics Powder Set, setting powder for the face. However, to me, it did give a slight white cast. So go lightly or only use it if you have light skin tones. I mean, you know, I'm pretty sallow sitting in the lighter shade of middle you know um so if it shows a white cast on me you're gonna have to be careful again you see i've thrown all of these out the window since i discovered beauty pie apart from my beloved loose powder there are three other products i want to mention because none of those i mean unless you sign up to beauty pie none of those are that reasonably priced uh, sainsbury's boutique have something called illuminating finishing powder which is essentially a dupe for Makeup Forever Ultra HD. It's not as good, but my God, it's reasonably priced. It really is. So it comes in a shaker like that. It's super light. It's, it's a lovely product. It's a very nice product. It's very reasonably priced. If you're on a budget, definitely it's the one to go for. I've blown all that powder into the air and now I'm breathing in and it's gonna make my nose itch. If you have oily skin, IT Cosmetics have something called Bye Bye Pores which has uh, um, some ingredients also to absorb um, sebum, uh, which is great on a hot summer day. Uh, I apply it with a brush to keep it lightweight. However, it does come with one of those. That will give you a much, much heavier finish. I like to keep mine super light. Sometimes I do apply it more thickly. Then I apply my eye makeup and my lip makeup, and then I go back in and I dust it back out so that your skin absorbs a slight amount and then you dust off the excess. What you don't want to look is you don't want to look dusty and fusty and, and messy at all. So that is a great one if you've got oily skin. That's It Cosmetics by by Pores. And then the final one, I'm like, oh, is it green? Should I be mentioning Topshop? However, I know that everybody deserves budget products. So Topshop have one. Uh, it's called Invisible Powder. And it's called, did that say White Lies? I thought it said White Lines for a second. <laughs> anyway, Philip Green, White Lies. Sorry, uh, that is a really great pressed powder. Again, for me, it's not as good as Beauty Pie. For me, if money was no object, you're gonna get Beauty Pie as you're on the go and you're gonna get Makeup Forever Ultra HD as you're loose. But it's a great budget product. It's a lovely one for young girls who want something that's cool and fashionable and just want to mattify their center panel. Not all of your face should be shiny and seen from space. And if you are using a product and it's giving you too much glow, you can keep the glow where you want it and knock it back where you don't want it. Which for me is actually right under my eyes as well. People never believe me. The secret also is to get yourself a really good brush so that you can dust the excess off. They are amazing brushes. Trust me, powders have a really important role to play in great makeup. I have seen more big makeup artists make up more real women than you can shake a stick at. Very few people can go without any powder. They really can't. I mean, you've got to you've got to be young and beautiful and plump skinned and juicy and have no dark shadows and no redness and no open pores and no fine lines and no acne and no scars. So let's put a pin in that one person in a million and the rest of us can all enjoy using a powder. I feel very passionate about this. Can you tell my entire side is now covered in white dust. But trust me, they work for all skin tones. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. Have a gorgeous, soft focus, blurred out, 
shine and sweaty face-free summer.